What's happening, fam? L.A. All moving, still moving. Happy Memorial Day weekend. All I'm saying is I got a couple of days off. I'll take it. Because we're going to be eating. That's why I'm going to hurry up and do these. Food versus the gym. Look. When you go to the gym, I see people working out. And I'm glad that you take that people are active and taking care of themselves. But when I get outside of the gym or outside of work and I'm just walking around just doing my thing, I see a lot of people who are not taking good care of themselves themselves. And um I wonder, like, what are you doing to yourself? You know, like seriously, what are you doing to yourself? Because there comes a point where food can be a refuge for some people and I never understood how you can like food and get comfort out of food but not be active like I like to eat but I want to keep active so I can keep my weight manageable and be in a certain amount of shape so I can do things and be active but also so I can still eat like I don't understand how you know people don't do that I don't I also don't understand how people say food that's bad for you tastes better than food that's good for you I, I've, I've never got that like you mean if you talking about food that you cook I'm gonna tell you this flat out motherfucker you can't cook you trying to tell me uh, triple deep fried anything is better than something that's grilled, baked, or sauteed if you season it. I'm not trying to hear that. You can't fucking cook. Okay? Um. Oh, man, this thing stopped like that again. Anyway. I have a thing with soul food. Like, I'm not a big fan of soul food. Because they call it soul food. And I don't like the title soul food. Because, motherfucker, kind of hints to me that if you keep eating it, you will be a soul. So I'm not dead yet. How about give me some live food? How about that? I know live food kind of sound raw, like, but give me something that I could live good off of. Don't give me something that's going to run me to death. Now, as far as people are not working out, you know, certain times I've been with certain friends and family, and I've dated certain people, certain females, and we've all been there. You'd be sitting at the table, food's good. And a certain person sits down and me like, that's too much. Or they're eating. Like, okay. And they go back and they're eating some more. I'm like, then they go back and they eat some more. And you're like, yo, you need to put some of this shit down. And then I work out and I see people who walk for two minutes. I got my heart up. You just walk for two minutes. Like, what the? What, the, what are you talking about? Lift a few weights. Do a few sit-ups. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. So so tired. Ah, oh, so tired. Come on now. Like, if you want to live to the mall, if you if you want to live to eat some Twinkies, I don't know. Run a lap. I don't know. Get on a bike. I don't know. Jog a block. I don't know. Do something other than sitting on your ass. I love food just like you do, but I'm not stupid. And for other people, don't eat when you're depressed. Please don't. Please don't. It's just like a, it's just like a, a weed head or coke head or any kind of addict. They get depressed. They get into what they like, and it soothes them. And then you find yourself in a predicament that you didn't want to be in, and then you get double depressed because now you are something you never intended to be, and now you don't know how to get back to normal. Which I've always misunderstood and never understood that. If you got yourself to being obese and overweight by overeating, eating the wrong foods and never being active, maybe, just maybe, you got to do the opposite of that to lose that weight. And what's the big deal? You got to commit yourself. If you can't commit yourself, I don't I, Hey, what it is. Damn, what it is, really? Anyway, um, that's the end of this one. Because I said all that to say, I'm hungry. All right.